and welcome to Rotted Reviews. And as January comes to an end, we wrap up things by taking another look at a rotted request, this time coming from patron Tuan, who wanted me to watch and review the 2001 Guillermo del Toro movie, The Devil's Backbone. Set against the backdrop of the end of the Spanish Civil War back in 1939, this movie takes place at an orphanage in a remote countryside area where a boy named Carlos is dropped off. The last remaining efforts of the liberal Republicans are being hunted down by the efforts of the overwhelming nationalists. And in doing so, trouble is quickly afoot on the doorstep. Carlos is doing his best to try to make do with the other boys in the orphanage as he's trying to figure out what's going on, what happened to his father in the course of the war, why he's been dropped off there, and what his future holds. Meanwhile, there's whispers in the wind of all sorts of nefarious things, both human and supernatural as the boys make rumors of the boy who sighs, a ghostly apparition that is said to be haunting some of the halls. I'm really glad that Tuan brought this one up and made this a request. He said in his comments that he wasn't sure if I had covered it yet, and sure enough, I hadn't. And I think that that's honestly a damn shame. Bit of an oversight on my part. So this is going to be a little bit less of a review and a little bit more of just fawning over things. If you want a review, here it is in just a quick little summary. Go watch this movie. This is one hell of a movie. It's a fantastic horror film. It's a great drama overall. It is worth watching. And I blanket recommend it to absolutely everybody. This is, in my opinion, one of those movies that you should absolutely see before you die. I should really compile a list. I should. Like Mike's 100 movies to see before you die. This would be on it. The Devil's Backbone. So there you go. That's my review of it. And as far as fawning over it, I just have to say that I think that The Devil's Backbone for me is tied with Pan's Labyrinth as the best Guillermo del Toro movie ever. And as different as those two movies are, they have a bit of a kinship with one another. Uh, they both take place during the Spanish Civil War, and they both deal with the atrocities of human sins brought to light through the backdrop of horror or fantastical elements. And with Guillermo del Toro, it's kind of difficult to separate horror and fantasy. He does such a good job of blending the two with very, very difficult dark fantasy and very fantastical horror elements. So uh, I would say that the devil's backbone leads a little bit more towards the horror side where pan's labyrinth definitely more towards the fantasy side but either way they're both devastating in their own right and i'm trying to imagine the absolute elation that Guillermo del Toro must have had in the creation of the devil's backbone he made chronos in 1992 and by all accounts, it was well received. He kind of had shown his chops at that point. So he kind of made his way within the industry until the inevitable happened where he was assigned to direct an American film of the 1997 movie Mimic. And also the predictable happened in that there was so much studio intervention. Weinstein himself was just completely at war with Guillermo del Toro during the production of Mimic. And it wound up being an absolute hassle and a negative experience for him to direct this movie that wound up getting chopped up and just the shadow remnants of what he intended. So the idea that he was able to come away from that and then work on a project that he had spent a decade or more in the works on trying to flesh out the story of and getting back to his roots, getting back to storylines that really mattered to him and turning out the 2001 Devil's Backbone just it had to have been a hell of an experience and one of the most satisfying elements of his directorial life. I mean, I can't imagine what could possibly be better than putting your absolute total heart on screen in your project efforts, especially in the wake of having it stripped away from you in a previous effort to just completely go away from that and to come back on your own, making a film on your terms, the story that means so much to you in the way that you want to put it out there. And that's honestly one of the reasons that I think that The Devil's Backbone has so much heart to it. But it's also, as I mentioned before, quite devastating. As much as I enjoy the Blade 2s and Hellboys of Kimo del Toro's uh, uh, catalog, I would have to say that as great as he is at making monstrous spectacle, he shines the most when he's bringing out the horrors of humanity. And that's one of the things that I love about horror the most is the ability to frame things using uh, the supernatural ghosts and so on as 
a setting, as a stage setting, as flavor that allows the actual storyline of character development, of real human plots to really come forward, especially when it brings out the worst of humanity and puts it on screen and forces us to take a look at it through eyes that are completely unblinking. It's one of the reasons that I love sci-fi as well, you know, the Star Treks and so on putting up uh, moral tales that couldn't have been told otherwise, but framing against the backdrop of space. It's like taking a sidestep of a story and approaching difficult topics from a flanking position and allowing the resonance of that to hit home all the harder when you don't see it coming, when you're bracing yourself for the spooky jump scares of a ghost, only to be absolutely kicked in the nuts by something far more terrible in what mankind is capable of. So uh, like I said, I'm really glad that Tuan recommended this one. If for no other reason than it gave me a chance to have my 14th some odd watch of it. And yeah, I cannot recommend this one enough. If you haven't seen The Devil's Backbone, if you haven't seen Pan's Labyrinth, I would suggest maybe having a weekend watch Saturday for one Sunday for the other. Don't back to back them because there's only so much that somebody can take. But <laughs> Yeah, give it a weekend, watch both of them. Fantastic films, all told, I love The Devil's Backbone. So thank you, Tuan, for recommending this one, and thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please click like and subscribe. It really does help. And remember, next time you want to watch a horror movie, first make sure that it's good and rotted.